do we even hit them for? Oh wow, we hit them for pretty solid damage. Like our health bars went down by about the same amount. We actually got the better of that exchange. Are you good? If not, let's get good. Tonight I am playing the beta of Endless Legend Shadows. I will be playing this every night until August 24th when the closed beta ends, because we want to see as much of the new content as we can. So in the last episode, we were exploring and looking for Angren, where we are trying to find a Kazanji village for our faction quest. We also were working towards a settler to settle our second town, city, whatever you call it. Region. Region is probably a better description. And we are moving through. We also have dust sense that we're purchasing. That is a pillaging effect. If we ever encounter another civilization, it can be really useful. Oh, we've got some driders over here. Um, let's maybe take them out, because we're going to need to for the settler to be able to come in and settle safely. I'm going to get our settler army out, and I think that if we take a look... Oh, we can't take a look yet. We have to get them actually into the quadrant. Okay, and now I botched that up. Whatever. We'll just do it next turn. It's not a big deal. We've got this, which is really nice, but we've also got a couple of nice anomalies over here. I think we'll probably end up settling right there, because I believe the overall gain for resources there is a little bit higher. We won't know until we get the settler into this quadrant specifically. I mean, I could count them up, but that's kind of pointless. I am going to move these guys here, because we are going to try to take out the Seraton to make it safe. And now that they're over here, we can look at the different cities. So if we settle there, not great. That's a little bit better, but we're really low on production. Now if we settle over here, we don't have any dust generation from this town. However, we do have a ton of food, which is good for growth. And we have happiness and production. And I think our overall value, yeah, it's a little bit higher. So I'm going to go ahead and settle right there. Unless there's a way we can squeeze some dust out of that. No, there isn't. But once we get dust dredgers, we'll be able to put those down and get some dust off of this river. So I'm not incredibly worried about it. Okay, this looks like a pretty clean fight for us. I'm just going to go ahead and auto it for the sake of time. Excellent. We almost lost an assassin, but we didn't. And we got 30 dust from that, which I believe is part of their faction effect. Or something to do with pillaging, because I don't recall getting dust with any of the other factions. And now we're going to move over here and try to determine what the minor factions are in these two regions, because if we can figure out what they are and they aren't daemons then that means that we need to come down here. As unfortunate as that would be, better that we know soon. Okay, the population of Utanla has grown, and we are working on settling our second city. The name of which, I don't know, <laughs> because we haven't settled it yet. However, I do want to say, if you guys would like to name a city, feel free to leave a name in the comments, or on whatever forum you find this on, and I will be glad to name a city in your honor because I'm all about finding ways for you guys to interact, even if they're kind of insignificant. I mean, it's cool to have a city named after your your, your chosen name. Actually, the uh, last guy that requested a city name for the Necrophages si uh, series, his city was the final city we captured, so it was kind of cool. And we're going to end the turn. Winter sucks. It's going to slow things down significantly for us, and we do have an influence plan coming up, or a social plan. Let's see, how much do we have? We have 28 right now, which is enough to maintain what we have. Not a whole lot to expand. Actually, we will be able to expand into one more thing, which is fairly decent. And we can now afford the Alchemist Furnace, so I'm going to go ahead and buy that. And we have entered Era 2. Okay, so now our social policy availability changes quite a bit. Now we have access to these Tier 2 ones, and it's very important, I think, for us to get quite a few of them actually. The buyout reduction would be nice, but we're really not trying to spend dust on buildings, so actually we'd probably be better off with this production cost reduction. But this is the main one. We really want that happiness or maybe that 30% attack on units. Everything is so appealing. Um, I'm not going to switch everybody over to influence just for that though. I think I will switch a couple of guys over, maybe two. We've got three turns, so that's another 21 points. That'll get us pretty close to 50, which probably won't do a whole lot. Actually, no, 50 would be perfect, so I'm going to do that, and I may end up putting one more guy here just for a turn, just to push us over that 50 mark. All right, 
Do we have a minor faction in here? Or perhaps a name? Oh, look at that. That looks like Angren, doesn't it? I think this is Angren. So all we have to do now is find the demon village and pray they don't slaughter us mercilessly, which they probably will. It may actually be better to wait until winter is over as well, because I don't know how much of an effect winter will have on our combat capabilities in comparison to the demon's combat capabilities, because they're just all around nuts. With that chain lightning, they're very, very difficult to handle, especially early game when you don't have very good defense. Alright, let's go ahead and end that turn. We have no research currently. What am I doing, guys? I'm sorry. I am slipping horribly, but we are in the second era, and now we need to grab whatever is good in production from there. I don't know that there is a specific great production bu uh, building in this era. I know we've got these. They're pretty decent, but they're not like, you know, they're no mill foundry as far as production increases go. Actually, roads would be good. There's so much stuff that would be good in this second tier that I think we're going to focus on... Yeah, let's unlock the marketplace first. That way we can get some extra heroes and start getting that rolling. What's mine is mine, plus 10 security. Uh, That's cool. I don't know if we need it because nobody's done espionage to us yet, I don't think, but I'm not sure. Whoa, look at that. Minus 100% infiltration cost on Empire during winter. That's kind of cool. We'll probably want to pick that up, and we'll definitely be picking up the mist. I think we'll go with these two for right now, and then we'll go ahead and add in public granary and probably prisoners, slaves, and volunteers, just because anything that helps with buyout is kind of nice, because I tend to favor a dust strategy, where you just sort of generate a massive amount of dust and then buy out everything you can. What do we got? 50 dust. Very nice. Not enough to get us Imperial coinage, though. I'm okay with that. Oh, this is technically an even fight, but these are demons. We might get slaughtered even trying. I don't know that our units recover outside of our own territory, though. Actually, we should check that. So we've got 50 life on him. And these guys are moving to their destination this turn, so let's have everybody move. Move your bodies. Uh, found the city, please. Don't just move there and stand there. Excellent. So we now have our second city. I'm actually going to zoom in and take a look at the design of their cities, because I've never actually looked at that. It's kind of neat looking, right? It looks like a bunch of sort of scraps put together, which is sort of fitting for their theme. Okay, we're going to move this guy straight over to production, because as we know, production is more efficient. We're going to grab the mill foundry, and then the empire mint, and then the seed storage. I am putting seed storage last. The reason I'm doing that is because we have a ton of food in this location, and Empire Mint will help us get to this stuff faster. Now, I didn't put it in front of the Mill Foundry, and I'm not going to, because once again, I feel like production is still the number one priority. Alright, and we'll also have them build a glass steel extractor. In fact, we may be able to build some extractors over here now. Yes, we can. So let's build that extractor, and the glass steel's down here. That'll get us a little bit closer to building the Museum of Origa. We may already be too late on that, depending on how fast the uh, computer is moving. I'm going to move a guy back over to production because we don't need that much influence. In fact, we really don't need as much influence as those two guys make now. Uh, we, Yeah, we'll be good with that five. Oh, crap, we just settled a city. Why did I settle a city? Oh, I forgot. Okay, guys, I kind of screwed us right here. Yeah, maybe if we put everybody in, we can get up to it, but I doubt it. Yeah, we've got two turns. We're not going to make it. Um, We have enough to maintain right now, which kind of sucks. I think I'm going to put everybody into influence for the time being. And over here, I'm going to leave them in production because I don't feel like that one guy is going to make that big of a difference. And we now have the option of Guarin or Seraton. Wow, Seraton are actually not bad, especially if we have a couple of their villages over here. I don't know if we do. It'd be really nice if we had another one out here or something so that we could get plus 10% defense. That would be great. And did this guy heal any? He did not. So we're not going to heal any unless we're in friendly territory, so we might as well just take a swing, right? No, that's a terrible idea. We're going to get slaughtered, and I'm bad at this game, but we're going to do it anyway because why not try? Um, actually, no, I'm not going to put that point there, because I really want to get up to these. 
I'm going to go ahead and put a point there. And next turn we will go, or next level, we will go with this plus 10% attack because that will be awesome. Okay, let's, let's just do this. This could be terrible. If we wipe, oh god, we're going to wipe. Look at that. Maybe we won't wipe. Maybe I'm just being paranoid. We'll see. The trick with demons is making sure that we don't get hit by chain lightning. Like, not getting chain lightninged is priority number one. So in order for that to work, what we need to do is make sure that our guys are not adjacent to each other in any way, shape, or form, which is pretty good right there. And now we'll let this sort of go. Do we even hit them for... Oh wow, we hit them for pretty solid damage. Like, our health bars went down by about the same amount. We actually got the better of that exchange. Oh, we got the worst of that one, though. And because... Oh, if we can move over there, we'll be good. Just don't stop next to these guys, please, because, oh, we don't want to get chain lightninged. Wow, they just hit really hard right there. Yes, they made it all the way. No chain lightning, and we can now gang up on them. 20 damage, not bad. Come on, guys, you can do it. We need this. We need this for the faction quest. You know what? Even if we lose some guys, but we win the fight, I'll be happy with that, because I just want to progress the faction quest. It took us long enough to find them. I don't want to have to get more units and come back. Whoa, did you see that? He did like a slick little ninja slide cut thing. That was cool. Okay, where are you guys at? 21 health, you should be dead. Why are you clinging to life? These guys are pretty close too. We may actually finish this right here. Yeah, I think that's about it. He did the sliding thing again. That was slick. He looks like a ninja even more when he does that. Oh, did we just lose? Yeah, we just lost a unit. I should have moved him back. But at the end of the day, like I said, this is more about completing the quest. These are basic military units. They're the two we started with. So we should probably start producing some actual, like, upgraded guys soon anyway. And now that we've done that... Oh, what? We have to pacify it. I forgot. So instead, we're going to have to build a city here before we can even complete that. That's kind of janky. Um, I guess what we'll do is come down here and build another settler. I don't really like rushing out cities like this, but I don't feel like we have much of an option. And I'm going to put it right after the Burrow Street. And I'm also going to add to the end of the queue a couple of Predators, Predatores, whatever they're called, because I'm really excited to see these crossbow guys in action. They should be pretty good. They may actually be terrible, though, because I know that range got nerfed, like, right before I sort of took hiatus from the game. We do have a Ruins down here to explore, which is nice. There's also some Titanium here. I wonder if we have any good Anomalies. Is there anything that makes this region actually worth settling? Not particularly. It's actually kind of a bonk region. I guess this area right here would be good to settle in, and then we could bridge our way down to this 5 dust right here, which would be nice. Maybe we'll see something else out here. Either way, being able to uh, assimilate the Kazanji will be a huge, huge boon for us. The Kazanji are just 100... Excuse me, 100% 100 amazing. I love them as a minor faction. And if we have the option of getting them, I probably won't assimilate any other factions, unless we do end up having two Saraton villages up here. That would be really nice, but I don't think that's going to happen. And we have enough for Imperial Coinage, so we are going to buy Imperial Coinage. That gives us access to the marketplace. Unfortunately, because we use money for research, it's not going to be super beneficial right now. Why can we not hire... Oh, that's right. Okay, heroes come from a different tech out of Tier 1. Right here. So that's going to be our next tech. Because we need to be able to get some more heroes. Particularly dust-generating heroes. Because right now we're sort of having trouble supporting the dust needs of our people. And we are on the social plan. We have... 58, which isn't going to get us anything, yeah. Okay, we get to keep what we had because I settled the city when I shouldn't have. Sorry about that, guys. I do make mistakes, especially since I've been away for a little bit. Alright, let's search the ruins. We got nothing. That is very disappointing. You couldn't have given us anything. Just one little thing. There are the Delvers. Delvers are kind of great as a minor faction because if you get multiple villages, I believe they increase your dust generation, which would be really good for us. So right now it's looking like we may end up doing like some really aggressive expansion. I'm not normally the type to do that, but in this case it makes a lot of sense. We need to find better ways to generate dust and we need to find them like yesterday. Because right now it's hard enough to even keep up on our research. 
It's very interesting having them be like this no science, very militaristic faction, and yet they have to focus a lot on dust. It's kind of a, a very weird line to walk. Especially because unlike the Broken Lords where you're focusing on dust but you're buying everything, we can't do that, especially early on, because we need to focus on buying research. So that was the point I was making in the last episode when I said I'm sure this sort of balances out in the late game. It really does. Early on, this was nuts because we were able to start turn one with a mill foundry. Unfortunately, it does catch up with you in the long run. So we are definitely going to be looking for better ways to generate dust, and this is not a better way. I'm not going to do that. I will do this because the sooner we get another burrow built, the sooner we can keep building burrows, the sooner stuff upgrades to two, people get more happy, so on and so forth. Happiness equals, why are we unhappy? Wow, we have minus 20% dust in science. That's crappy. Why is everybody so unhappy? It's got to be from expansion, which is terrible because we're going to be expanding more. <laughs> Um, that won't be too much of an issue, provided we can get some burrows out over here, though. And we'll have one burrow coming down right now. What we'll probably end up doing is prioritizing the final burrow to upgrade the city over this coming settler, or directly after this coming settler. Let's see. We do not have enough for the final burrow. That's kind of crappy. Um, what about over here? Over here, we are building our basics. And we could then build the industrial megapole, but I don't feel like there's enough industry there to justify that. Over here, I think we have a little bit more industry, which would make the industrial megapole a little bit better. And actually, over here, I believe we have a... No, we don't have a... Yeah, we do have a ton of industry right there. So it might even be beneficial to get this built and build the industrial megapole there. But I highly doubt that that's going to work because we're so many turns out from being able to settle this. Well, I guess we're only two turns out, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I just don't want another faction to beat us to the industrial megapole when we're building it. Even though it gets refunded as... Uh, doesn't it get refunded as dust, or did they change that? Oh my gosh, if they didn't change that, that's kind of awesome. Oh wait, that's what they did. I think they changed the amount of dust you get back, so it's not worth it to build the industrial megapole almost to completion and then let someone else finish it. Over here we have another ruins we're going to explore. What do we got? Why you give me nothing at every ruins game? Why you dislike me so much? We've got two Gelderous villages here, which is not a terrible thing. I'm actually surprised that we haven't encountered any other factions yet. That's kind of weird. I would expect us to run into somebody by now. Although I guess it's kind of a good thing. We're not exactly the most militaristically mighty faction at this point. I wonder what the score's like. We are doing okay in the score. It looks like the Draken are actually ahead of us. As well as the purple unknowns. I don't even know who they are. But the Draken are ahead of us. We're not exactly in the lead. That is fairly uncomfortable for me because I'm usually able to keep a pretty good lead on points. But I'm thinking it has something to do with research being so painful for these guys. Alright, we have built our last upgrade here. And now it's time to build our first burrow. So do we want more food or do we want to focus another way? Well, we're definitely going to want to build out this way because that's four dust and four food right there. So I think we'll go right here. That'll also let us pick up another production, which is nice. Yeah, we're not going to get any dust from going any particular place, so we'll build the burrow there. We'll also build a Saraton village so that we can have that. I mean, it doesn't really do anything for us because we're not going to assimilate them. At least not yet. We did, however, finish our settler down here in our main village, so we're going to go ahead and make a new army of that settler. And I think we're going to send it right there. So in about three turns, we should be able to settle our third region. Our happiness is going to go, like, straight in the toilet, because three regions and not a lot of happiness boosting stuff is bad. I'll come back up. We don't really need to explore much more, and I'm kind of worried the Gelderous are going to pop dudes out and kill us. That would be very terrible right now. Do not want to do that. Man, our dust generation is just crippled. We are getting nothing. And I have to believe that part of that is because this is not generating, like, any dust whatsoever. That is somewhat unfortunate, but I think we'll be able to make do. 
Now I'm going to be smart this time, and we're three turns out, and I am not going to settle a city that causes us to get messed up on the social plan. Instead, what I'm going to do is focus entirely on influence for a couple of turns, and the reason I want to do that is so that we can grab as much cost reduction stuff as possible. We really need to cut our costs and make it so that we can grow these cities really quickly. Because otherwise, the expansion disapproval is going to eat us alive, and I don't want that to happen. Alright, go ahead and close that. And next turn. Right on, these guys made it, but we're not going to use them. We are not going to use them. I have to keep telling myself that, because if not, what will happen is I'll do the rest of the turn, and I will realize at the last minute that I accidentally used them. But there's not a whole lot for us to do other than that. Uh, we can put another burrow down up here, which is not terrible. Put it right there. And then I'll probably just end my turn, because I don't want to mess that up. Okay, see guys, I did it. I did not use the settlers. They're just standing there, which is like, against my instincts. Oh, weak. Stop the outbreak in its track by pacifying all the Ursi's villagers in Unirin. This is one of those new, like, global event things, and it basically is kind of a pain. But, wow, look at that, the final contributor. Whoever kills that Ursi's village in Unirin gets 400 dust. That means that that is a viable road for us. Like, I'm actually going to see if I can figure out where that place is. We don't need buyout reduction because we're not going to buy stuff out. We do want building cost reduction and happiness. Oh, that sucks. Happiness is more important, I think. Yeah, let's get the happiness. That is pretty good. I should have got unit cost reduction too, but I didn't, so mistakes were made. Move all these guys back into production, and move all these guys back into production. And then settle this city now that we have time to do that without messing everything up. Bam, there goes the city. Uh, we're still probably going to be incredibly, yeah, our empire approval is like ridiculously low now. They are really, really pissed off. Um, let's build a mill foundry, an empire mint, and a seed storage. Get some titanium flowing in. Build us a little Kazanji village. That should be about everything we need to build there. Did we switch everyone back over from here? Yeah, we did. Okay. So now I'm just going to go ahead and end our turn. We don't have an army, so I'm not going to send our hero out. But you know what I should do? We have, like, minus two turns on cooldown. I should send our hero over here so that she can help with dust generation, because I believe she has... Yeah, she's got dust boost, so we'll do that. We'll send her over there temporarily just to deal with that. Did we already purchase that, or are we waiting to purchase Mist? Yeah, we're waiting to purchase Mist. Okay. We are going to take a while to get to Mist with only 15 dust a turn coming in. That's somewhat disappointing. And we do have these assassins that we could start using as, like, scouts. That would be kind of a good idea. The bows. The bows are next-door neighbors to us, and we don't care because they're not really great. I don't like them. I, I don't think the bows are very good in general. Um... They're basically just centaurs that are kind of weaker, in my opinion, and they don't have as good of a assimilation bonus, I don't think. Oh, look at that. Maybe we do have another Seraton village, because that is a Seraton. He is seriously sieging our city or something, because we can't build another burrow. Unless that has to do with population, maybe? No, that's not population. That's because he's there. Stupid Seraton. Now we have to send these guys over to try to fight. Yeah, we're being sieged right here. That's great. Being sieged by the computer. I love it. Uh, let's see. Close that. End the turn. We gotta get guys over here to help defend Pronto. Yeah, it's telling us that Burrow Street has basically been made infinite because he's sieging us, which is obnoxious. Why are you sieging us? It's too early game for you to do this. Don't do this. Yeah, I get it. It's going to be infinite. Thank you. End the turn. What do we got? Uh, 119 dust. Is that going to get us to our next objective? It is not. We're still just shy. We should be there within the next two turns, though. And now we have the winter playing into things, which is not great. I wonder if we can reassign yet. We can reassign. Awesome. We're going to need to. Because we're not going to be able to take these guys down with just an assassin, I don't think. 
Wham, bam, kill them, man. Good job. Okay, so now the borough should be building. That's what we want. And the Museum of Origa is an option, and we have a ton of production here. 32 here, 27 there. Yeah, I think we're going to go ahead and build the Museum of Origa here. And we are placing another borough, but I'm not sure where we put it. I think it's over here? Or is it this one? I think it's going right there. So instead, I'm going to build the Museum of Origa, and we will place it right here, maybe? Yeah. No, here. There we go. And then once we get the materials we need, we will also be building an industrial megapole here because we do have a ton of industry in this area. Now we've got a hero with a shadow. Come along, little predatory. Finish. We need you. Your services are required. And got our seed storage. Good to go. Okay. Let's grab a predatory just because I want to see one because they're kind of wicked. And bring him this way. Oh, they move a shadow too. I love the shadow movement. Like, it really is... Like, somebody was saying on the forums that the aesthetic is a little, like, different and off-putting from the other factions, but I think that's intentional, right? Because, like, these guys are the outcasts. They don't fit in with the other factions. They're not supposed to. That's why I like them, because they're cool. They are the counterculture faction. Anyways, I don't think it's a problem. I think that effect is kind of neat. I very much enjoy it. As you can probably guess by my repeated reference to how cool it is. The dual wielding, all of it, I'm very much enjoying the Forgotten. I can see myself getting a lot of additional playtime out of the game just playing around with this faction and trying to find the most effective ways to do everything as them. Because they're very, very different. The dust impetus is really painful. Like when I play Broken Lords or I play the Roving Clans, the dust impetus doesn't seem like a detriment. It just sort of seems like something that's there. But when you play these guys, like, it's a constant concern. It's a constant sort of background problem. Oh, we missed that. That sucks, because that's really, really good. Um, nothing we can do about it, though. The Draken are running wild. Jeez, they're still ahead of us. We did, however, pass up. Yeah, nobody. We're still in the same position we were. I am not sure when we hit a break even with these guys. I'm not sure it's going to be like some of the other factions where you might get buried early on, but you catch up later. Oh god, we have our first social policy coming up with three buildings. We need at least 150 to maintain, so that means switching guys very quickly over to influence. So we'll switch them here. Sorry about that, my throat is getting a little bit dry. We've got 15 influence coming there, and... Hopefully a lot more here. We've got 18 coming from there, so that's 34 a turn. Three more turns, we should be able to make it and at least keep what we have, which is kind of good enough for us right now. And we are one turn away from building this village and being able to actually continue our quest. I'm really excited about our quest because, like, normally the quests give you some sort of gear or something kind of cool like that, so I'm wondering if we're going to get something of that nature. That would be kind of excellent. Um, okay, so now you guys can build another burrow, or the Museum of Origa. No, we're going to build a burrow. I don't want you guys to try to build a museum. You will be much slower than the other, er or maybe you won't. 42 production. <sighs> That's pretty hefty. How much production does this place have when it's, no, it still has more production when it's staffed, but it's not staffed right now. Maybe it should be, though. We have 150. Yeah, I'm going to move these guys back. Because it's more important that we finish the museum as soon as possible, basically because of the happiness. And look at that, plus 20% dust on Empire Approval Happy, that's huge for us. We definitely need to get there. And as much as I want the mist, I have a feeling we really want to go get another hero first. So I'm going to pull these off, and I'm going to pull the mist off, and I'm going to be very sad, and I'm going to put the hero market on. And we're going to buy that, because that is really, really key for us. We need to get another hero down. We need to increase dust generation. I think if we can hit sort of the same break even that the Broken Lords and the Roving Clans can hit with dust generation, we should be perfectly fine. But we're not there yet, and we need to be. So I'm going to move these guys over here so we can continue our quest. Oh, I'm actually really excited to see the next step of the quest. Like, that's kind of a cool thing. I really do enjoy the backstories, and I'm... Interested in seeing where this one is going. Oh, we can pillage that. I didn't know we could pillage villages. That's kind of awesome. 
uh, we're going to start pillaging minor factions from now on because yay money. Uh, ransack this regional building. Its effect will temporarily be disabled after its pillage defense value drops to zero. The loot depends on the nature of the place. When performed by a hero, this action provides a base value of 8 XP. That's kind of cool. So why is it not letting us do our quest thing? Oh, it's because we have not assimilated, maybe? Because they should be, yeah, they're pacified, they're just not assimilated. Well, it's gotta happen. Assimilate. Okay, now we should be able to do... No, we still can't. That's weird. Alright, for right now, I'm just gonna go ahead and do our social plan and end the turn. I'm wondering if it just needs a turn to fully flip over to being pacified or what the deal is, because it's pacified, it's got the big glowy light, it should be working. Oh, did we build the industrial megapole here? It gives plus 25 per level on industrial megapole. Uh, okay, that's fairly good. Minus 30% on district cost. Also very, very good. I still think we're going to get more benefit out of doing it over here, though. Why are you there? Go away. Stop sieging my town. You know what? Make a predatory. Send him over there. He's going to kick their butts. Okay, so now we have these guys over here. We still can't do our quest. Why can't we... Oh, I know why we can't do our quest. We do not have the ability to talk to people yet. We kind of need that. Everything is getting in the way of us getting the mist. That's sad. And we're actually losing dust, so I'm not sure how that's going to work out for us, if that is even going to work out for us. You know what we could do is we could send some units over there to pillage the Saraton. I like that. Let's do that. Little punks want to attack my town. We need to pillage them. And this place does need something to build, so we'll go ahead and build our first district. Ah, oh, I really want to build it there, but that doesn't help when we're trying to build across. And we've already got a district there. Actually, you know what? That's not terrible. I can build it right there. I'm good with that. I'm going to do that because I want to grab a couple of these and make sure that we actually have a district on top of that production. Okay, so we leveled the hero. Yay, we get plus 10% attack. That's kind of awesome. Wow, good governor abilities next. Or this. Or this. Maybe we go back for this. This could be cool. Actually, this isn't going to do anything until we discover another faction, so we're not going to worry about that. But we are running out of time. Okay, guys. I think I'm going to call it right there just because we don't have the dust we need to be able to purchase the tech that we need to be able to do our mission here. So I'm going to end it, and we'll pick up with this tomorrow. So if you enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. If you have any questions about Endless Legend Shadows, please leave them in the comments or in a forum post that you see this on because I want to be able to answer those for you guys. I want this to serve a purpose. The reason I'm doing this every night until the beta ends is so that each day as the questions come in, I can try to find you guys answers. Thank you for watching and please game responsibly.